through so much suffering and pain in my life. I've been just holding on to it for 32 years. And I'm tired of it. Hit him with the heat! Hit him with the heat! All this pain that I've been through. My father for beating me up every day. Everybody who put me through. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Teddy's mother playhouse. This is pretty dope. We had a party, have fun, and make some money. Hey! I missed my calling! Teddy's playhouse is lit! And as long as Caesar does not notice this big ass hole in the ceiling, we're good. I just want to let y'all know that Teddy's playhouse is officially open. Hey! Yo! What? <laughs> Watch your feet on that carpet, though. Teddy Playhouse! Teddy is calling all of us outside for a surprise. This like some super sweet 16. I think this had a car outside for me. Teddy's Playhouse! Ah! Really, my What the is this, Sam? Three, two, one! equal opportunity employer, but I mean, I'm happy that Teddy's putting it into action. <laughs> this is Young Bay. Where you got clothes on? Okay. Take them off now. No, she's not a stripper. Not a stripper? What the f is she jumping out of a giant cake for? You see giant cake stripper. They go hand in hand. That's peanut butter and jelly right there, Ted. This is our new tattoo artist. Tattoo artist? Yes. Hi, young Wow, Teddy actually did his job and hired a tattoo artist. Who would have thunk it? Oh! You gotta get this is expensive. Yeah, you get yourself together. <laughs> I am the best tattoo artist in New York City. I could do anything. Cover-ups, portrait, geometric, you name it. I slay it. I'm about to show Harlem who the best is. Young Bay, baby. Nice to meet you. Where you from? Korea. Korea? Nice, nice. Do you have a certain, like, you lane nervous? that you specialize in? <laughs> no, like, a certain lane that you specialize in. Like, what do you... Young Bae, she got a little spice to her, but are oh, you gonna make us some money? That's all I care about. Are you a team player? Uh, I'm a leader. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we're gonna have issues. <laughs> this little bitch, Young Bay, has a mouth on her ass that I've never seen. I don't know if I like her or if I want to fight or if I want to. <laughs> Let's go inside and party. Young Bay, she tough and she's a super dope tattoo artist. I found her on Instagram. She does a lot of big ass expensive tattoos. With her hair, we could just sit back and watch the money rolling. And she looks good as. Nice to meet you too. Right. You know, this is gonna be popping. This one it right here is over. Okay, okay. Because I came here for one mother reason that's money. That's right. That's it. That's right. <laughs> okay. Bay is very cocky. You're Floyd Mayweather in this right now, but Floyd Mayweather knows how to fight very well. And I just wanna know are you a great tattoo artist? Or are you going to come in here thinking as though you run? and you don't. I just want to know one thing, right? I don't know what type of work y'all guys be doing up here, because I've covered some of y'all work. Bitch, don't come in here talking about you covered up tattoos from our shop. What's up with that? <laughs> my bitch. This tattoos I'm seeing is crazy. Out of here, I'm not with you right now. I came here to save y'all all. OK, all this saving, you're not saving anything. All that HBIC that you do, do it with those bitches. It would never happen here, because I'm really the HBIC of this, OK? Bitch, who are you? You put a sour taste in my mouth. I hope it don't last, because, bitch, I will spit you out. Are you hungover, dude? Oh, I think somebody put some in my drink. Nobody put none in your drink. Somebody had to put some in somebody's drinks yesterday, because what the was going on in this 
Man. I don't know. Well, guess what? The kid drama wasn't the only drama that we had. Oh, my God. Tiffany was talking about me, I heard. She was calling me names on my back. Like, I don't know. Calling me names on your back. Calling me names on my back. Oh, my I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch tried to, like, call me a whole bitch. Like, she was just talking for no reason. She was just looking for trouble. That makes sense to you? That was whack. This little mop headed bitch, she ain't been nothing but trouble since she been here. This whole been fighting mad people. So, like, at the end of the day, Teddy shouldn't hire Donna because you know what you're getting with her. She's not a bad girl. Like, and my bitch got good. Hey, welcome oh, to Black Egg. Hi. Hi, hey guys. Hello, hey. Tiffany. My name is Ho. Oh, Ho? What? Like you call me. Oh, what did I call this you? This is Ho. I never Hello. called you a Ho. You sure? Why would yeah. I even call you a hoe? I don't Wait, even know. Is that that's wrong? I must have been, because I don't remember that. So they give you a right to call me a hoe or a bitch? What is Bay even talking about? I never called her a hoe. It doesn't even make sense. I barely know her. Tiff, come here. Come sit over there. Sit over there. No, I just wanted to talk to her real quick because that ain't cool. I swear I do not remember calling you a hoe. I have no right to call you a hoe. Hey. I'm glad you're pussy right, right now. Oh, you starting with me right now? They bugging the out. This whole whole comment is really touching this part right here. She she really feeling it right here. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk I am to talking me. to you like that because you call me a hoe. I did not call you a hoe. I don't have no problem with you. If you cannot say it to my face, don't say it. All my anger that I've been holding for 22 years is very, very built up inside of me. And I don't snap often. Oh. Talk to you but do you know what I hate more than people talk behind my back? Liars! What? You beefing? No, let me tell you something. Uh-oh. If I'm you say here. something like that, bitch, out of here. Out of here. Oh, oh. What the I can't believe these bitches are fighting over who called who a hoe. I am too pretty to be a bouncer, so they better cut this out. Like, seriously. Let go of her head, bitch. Who you calling a What happened? Who else first? Who else first? Teddy is just watching. Like, do something right now. These hoes is really, really fighting. When are you going to step up and be the manager that your cousin believes that you could be? Talk to her and dead. So who hit who first? You didn't see? I did not call you a hoe. I don't know who these people are, babe. Oh my god, yo. How did Caesar entrust this Teddy into running the shop and I can't even get a promotion? Like, if you got an all-female tattoo shop, you have to be able to handle women. Babe, I like the door. Out of here. Babe, I like the door. Bay is going crazy right now. Like, something's really gotta be going on with her. Something that don't know. Let me see your face. I'm you fine. Good. You good. All right, let me get you some water. Right now, calm down. I am, I am, I am, I am. This is a bull. She just broke up the inside of the shop. What do you mean she broke up the inside? Like, real life, kick the glass out the damn tattoo room. Yo, this is a joke, what the is this bull? Listen, you don't with me. You don't know what I've been through in life. You just don't with me. Whoa! <laughs> she in the backyard right now. She's tight. Yo, Teddy, where are you going? Man, all this bull. You're seriously leaving right now? That's what happened when you want an all female shop. What the f is this bull for real? I blacked out during the fight with Tiffany, so I don't remember exactly what happened, but I know for a fact I overreacted. What's up? I just wanted to talk things through, because we are two adults, we could talk, right? I'm just upset about the whole thing that happened. I don't think it should have went down like that. You know, having to come into the shop, and, and I'm so confused, because I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? I called you a hoe. Where are you getting this information from? Because if I felt like you were a hoe, I felt like I would have told you that. It was not even that. Oh, you said this, you said oh, It wasn't even that. It was just, just me being angry for no reason. Like, once I got mad, mad, it was just not about us anymore. You saw my face, right? How, like, my eyes just went. Yeah, you were a different person. I, I know who you were. Person, yeah. And I just been through a lot, and 
I just, what do you mean you've been through a lot? I was abused by my father all my life. I got smacked around so much when I was younger. I was afraid every day if I'm gonna get killed or not that day. My life in Korea was like a um, scary movie. Because when father come in to the house, we was like We don't talk. Imagine getting beat up every day. You don't know when he's gonna flip. I remember he poured gasoline all over me and threatened that he will just set me up on fire. My father was like beating up my mother and my sister, whatever. And then I got in the middle and said, why are you hitting my mother? Why are you hitting my sister? Why you do this? I was like four years old and then he just grabbed, grabbed me by my throat and threw me out the window. That's wild. I wasn't allowed to express my feelings. If I cried because he was hitting me, he would hit me more. So I never learned how to deal with my pain and my anger. I just live my life like I'm okay. But still, like inside, I carry a lot of like sadness and pain. And when like that happens, you know, that a little abused, angry young just come out and just things just get crazy. It shouldn't be that way, and I'm really, really sorry. And I hope you can understand a little bit. I understand where you're coming from, and I think that's important. And I thank you for bringing me here so that we could clear the air <laughs> and I could get an understanding as to why that happened. I'm glad that Bay shared this part of her life with me, and I feel like. I've gained a better understanding as to why she acted the way she did. And I plan to move past that. We just got to, like, really stick together. Like, I mean, we're, yes. we're new here, and you have my back, and I have yours, but Please. we just can't be getting into no more fights. If Any fights, like... be on my side. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so desperate for a man right now. 32 and lonely. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? You ain't getting no love? It was like last year sometime. My was like, so uh, am I gonna be getting no action? Like, I might, I might as well disappear. <laughs> it's been so long, I got cobwebs on my Let me guess, last time you had sex was with your husband, right? No. Yes. <laughs> it was with Sandra, right? But that was before divorce. So I was married for five years and, you know, it was day and night until I found out my husband was cheating on me. I went to his shop, and I checked on his security camera, and I saw him having sex. You been online? You don't got no social media sites? You're not on Tinder and all that stuff? No. We got to set you up on some of them sites. What type of guy are you seeking? I want, like... What you want, go on Tinder? Bulky, you know, husky, stocky. Only single, or they can have a Only single. Nah, hell no. I'm hot on shit. I mean, Bae is a cute little so-co thing, you know what I'm saying? She got a nice little frame going on. She needs to stop doing all this moping and go get her some penis. Join now. Boom! Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's not 33. He's like 53. Oh, he's looking for a man, too. And <laughs> <laughs> this has entered the building. What has she done? She's entered the building. Y'all on crazy. We should be finding her some, some penis. Go and put on um, Tinder. Swipe left. Right. Swipe right. I'm a great matchmaker for others, but for myself. <laughs> you know what happened last time with these white boys last year. I tried. But I never gone on a date with a black girl. Okay, so it's the first one. Is this show? Yeah, get a, get a little towel. You're sweating all over the place. Oh, God, am I? Okay, uh, so you swipe this way. Wait. I don't like them. Oh, so swipe the other way. Be a oh, I love a little. Stop! Some... Let me and him do it now. Like, uh, uh. Oh my God, they hijacked my phone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What if they swipe right on a total weirdo? Justin is 42 and still wills camos. We don't want <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin! He looks like Doogie Ooh, Howser. He looks like he wants right. his Right. I can give him my Are you right there? Okay, yeah, good, 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 good. Sky's looking like she want to like some of these dudes herself. She's a, she's having a little more fun than Bay right now. Ooh, you got a match, you got a match. Got a match! Bay, <laughs> <laughs> your vagina's gonna be so happy! <laughs> so cute. Aww. I'm so nervous. I'm meeting up with my Tinder match tonight. 
I have a good feeling about this guy, like a solid ministry man. So I'm just hoping it goes well. Excuse me, is this, uh, is this seat taken? I guess you're my date. Hi! <laughs> This guy so far seems nice. Maybe a little chubbier than the photos, but I think it might go well. What do you do for work? I'm a tattoo artist. A tattoo artist. Like, what kind of stuff do you stylize in? Anything you ask for, anything my customer asks for. Okay, cool. So is your army base nearby? I mean, I'm not even in the military anymore. I'm actually, oh, no? Yeah. What do you do? I'm, I'm in between jobs. I have a stomach ache. You know what happened? I was actually in a chocolate bar on my way over here. So just that, just that. That's what I Thank you so much. Listen, I love chocolate, but who eats chocolate before a date? Is that what is smudged on his shirt? So tell me, tell me about yourself. I mean, right now, you know, dealing with a little bit of baby mama drama, but it's not. How many babies do you have? Two. Okay, you have two babies and two baby mamas? Yeah. <laughs> Tiger Wood baby. You know, he's a little weird. But maybe it's the nerves. I make men nervous. <laughs> Just like these olives, girl, you looking delicious right now. Ooh. I am so sorry. It's the beer, girl. I see that. No. That's it. Date's over. I like the way you ate that. I am deleting my Tinder account. Yo, let me feed you real quick. F you, Tinder. Man, man, is this cheese? We're all gathered here today in front of this scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the jeans I put on them. You put on some Balmain's? Yeah. Since Ben and I had that heart to heart the other night, I figured she could use some type of emotional release. It's what a good manager do for his employee. What's going on? What the f is this? Teddy told me to show up at night and be angry. I thought that was really weird. And don't ask me why I just scarecrow is tied up to a trash can. I've learned not to question anything since I started working at Black Cake. That represents everybody that did something bad to you in your life. Your dad, your moms, your ex-husband. You can release all your anger out on that. You could burn that. You could kick it in the nuts. Like you could go crazy on it. All you need is this right here. No, actually, I feel like you need this too. Just, just like take this and then. Oh. As much as I would love seeing Bay the straw man up. Listen, you guys stay safe. Love you. Okay. <laughs> I'm really not interested in getting arrested today, so toodles. She just gave me this bat and left. And she thinks she can go to back to jail. She's not with none of this, yo. <laughs> Don't hit me with that mother bat, though. Yeah, release some stress, Bay. <laughs> Why are you dragging the bat for? This is how you started. You don't just kick the out of something. See, you're crazy for real. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is for my father. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I've gone through so much suffering and pain in my life. I've been just holding on to it for 32 years. And I'm tired of it. Hit him with the heat! Hit him with the heat! All this pain that I've been through. My father for beating me up every day. Everybody who put me through. Oh, yeah. You! How you feel, babe? You feel better? I feel good. Is that enough? You good now? Yes, you got it I'm out? Yeah. yeah. Come here, you need a hug. Come here. I can't believe how amazing these people have been since I started working at Black Ink. 
they are my family. And I'm so grateful that I have them in my life. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, babe. <laughs> you gotta blow it right, you know what I'm saying? Blow it right, okay, you gotta show me, because I choke every time. Ever since Kevin started working at Black Gang, I thought he was cute as <laughs> So we've been hanging out after work, just getting to know each other. Have you ever dated an Asian person? I have. Asian person? Yeah? I have. Have you dated yes. black dudes? Uh, you don't need to ask, yeah! Yes. So how's your dating life? Non-existent. Oh my God, I've been like that. That's so funny. The more I get to know this guy, the more I like him. Because you know I'm a foodie, as yeah, you yeah. can see, you know. Yeah, a foodie with a booty. <laughs> <laughs> so when Kevin invited me to smoke hookah tonight, I was so excited. I think he's very into me too. What's up with you? Not a damn thing. This is the first time since I broke up with my ex that I had a serious crush on someone. So you know I could use some serious loving. You got real good skin, you know that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I got good everything. No, you look good though, like I swear you look good. And even Damn! Even <laughs> all right, Kev, all right. You wanna be like that, okay. You see that, my plan is working. All I have to do is just reel him in. Bay is gonna be Bay tonight. So what's your type? My type? I got a wide range of type. Really? Yeah, I do. I feel like it just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. So you feeling me right now or not? <laughs> what the f Donna? Donna. Oh what are God. you doing here? Kevin invited me. And y'all remember LA from one to five? He was at the party the other night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, dog? What's going on? Kevin invited me out tonight, and I decided to bring L.A. from 125th. I think he needs to get more associated with the group, and who doesn't like a little bit of hookah? Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, cheers oh. to Mixon and, and yeah. Dasher, oh, Comet, yeah. and Blitzen. Yeah. Comet and Blitzen. Uh, I'm all for mixing and matching, but these guys are cramping my style. Maybe Can I get some of this? I don't got cooties. Okay, I'll take your cooties. This looks nice. It feels nice too, though. What is this? Oh, this is satin. This is a little satin yeah. short I got on. You so fashion for us. You got a nice style, though. Who is this side show taking over my date? You need to back the f off. Have y'all seen LA's tattoos? What is the gun in your face? I get it popping. Oh, <laughs> get it popping. Let oh, me see real. your Put your finger right here. Like, do it. I can't do it. You can show her what it's okay, okay, like. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, what the f is that? What the hell's going on here? You ever get some stuck in it? You can find that later if you need to. You wanna go get a drink? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get another drink. I'll be right back. Okay, so, bitch, what the f is going on with these? What the f is going on, but this is rude. Like, he's rude right now. Couldn't just leave me hanging. This was our date. Yeah, I was on a date. I thought I was gonna get some tonight. I thought me and Kevin was hitting it off. But now he's over there with this guy having a drink. I'm confused. You know? Look at him, look at him. What the f You wanna get out of here? I mean, I'm down to leave whatever. <laughs> together. What? Did I get dissed for a guy with a lizard tongue? Seriously? Like, what the f My life! When you gonna let me tattoo you? God damn it, I knew it. <gasps> so you're gonna give Donna a beautiful <laughs> tattoo, and you're gonna give me a <laughs> pancake face, huh? Yeah. Hey, we get Whatever. it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hi, Rob. How you doing? Rob is one of my favorite clients. What's going on? I'm Kevin. Rob. He's been so loyal to me. Plus, he's so cute. I just love it when I get to do some more work on him. Have a sip. I'm mad excited right now. I remember that last piece you did. Yeah. Right? Oh, it healed up really nicely. Yeah, definitely. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> 
Okay, so why are you getting this tattoo again? And you know, I like your skulls. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I like the geometrics. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like a puzzle. You know, life's a puzzle. You know how we, we all grow up and we're just trying to figure things out and we don't have much. No, I know about their life. And I know about hardship. Mm -hmm. I like guys that, you know, been through stuff, you know, because I've been through so much and it's just, when I talk to somebody who hasn't been through much, I'm like, oh, I can't connect. Yeah, I feel you. It's really nice to have clients like Rob, who I could just relate to. That's the cool thing about tattooing him for so long. It's like we've gotten to know each other on a deeper level. We just click. So what's going on? How's life? You're looking good. It seems like you've oh, been thank you. know, a little busy and stuff. <laughs> so I'm, I've been good. need to go out, too. Don't f with yeah. me. What you know I'm with it? Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna see if you can handle handle this pain. If you can, maybe we could go out. All right. I'm gonna have a straight poker face then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> confidence that I'm really attracted to. But I'm scared. I don't know if I want to put myself out there again because after my divorce, every time I did, it was a disaster. But here's this guy, very cute, very polite, very just put together. And I know for sure he's not a psycho. He's just like everything I could ask for in a guy, so what am I afraid of? This can be a fantasy. I don't know. Maybe I should just go for it. Yeah. You wanna take a look? The work is it's above all. <laughs> so about my offer earlier. You gonna come out? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let me wrap you up. Good evening. Hey. I got these for you. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. You seem nervous. I'm nervous too, but <laughs> if you are, it's all right. Oh my god, I feel so nervous. I don't know why. I'm 32 years old, for God's sake. I feel like a teenager. OK, you ready? See? What you got going on? You know what? I see it's... all these hearts here. I know. I just, you know, I love love. You know what I'm saying? I see. You ready to try one of my special balls? What? Rob, be careful what you ask for, because I might bite it. Let me lick your balls on. <laughs> I love me some milk chocolate balls. Can't get better than that. How's it been going? You've been dating? In like um, like... not really. I took a break from dating, and then I've been on a couple of dates, and it was um just disaster. <laughs> you know me, kids? Cause we could make some tiger wood babies. Now put your finger right here. So what are you looking for in a man? I'm looking for love first. Okay. I just want that feeling that I can lean on somebody because I never had that feeling mm -hmm. when I was growing up. That's what I'm looking for. Really? I just want to take care me. of someone. I'm not going to play you. That's a... <gasps> Why are you holding my hands like that? You don't like that? I don't know. What she's so scared of? I don't know. She's I just being hurt. Being hurt. I'm not used to this. Well, it's here, it's in front of you. You could be like this all the time. Sure. If you let me. I feel like I would like to see you a lot more. I feel the same. So this is really crazy right now because I can't usually connect with a man like this so quickly. But I don't know why I have this feeling that I could just trust him. I still have a surprise for you. Really? More? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's more. OK. You ready? All right, come on, let's do this. Even though I always said I want a man, but like deep down inside, I was a little 
little scared to let somebody in completely because things I've been through in the past with my father, with my ex. But with Rob, everything just feels right. I just opened myself up, and it was just so natural. Come here. Hey, the surprise. Oh, really? Oh, my God. I can't believe this. This is the sweetest thing ever. I swear to God. Oh, oh. oh this is so nice. Oh, my God. It's just a carriage. <laughs> Perfect to me. It feels so good to have somebody just be so romantic to you. I was missing this. I could see sparks in the air. Let's start a fire. Baby, you could be my flame. Something about him just ah, melt me down. They say that love is blind, but I can't see just fine when I'm with you. Young Oh my God, baby. My lashes better like stay up. Like, come on now. Tonight, Robbie's taking me out for dinner and I don't know where we're going. And he even made me put a blindfold on. Oh my God. This might be a 50 shades of gray kind of night or he might want to kill me because I said I wasn't ready to move in with him. Rob put all this together. And he even got this sign that says he loves me in Korean. He was in the wrong direction. Korean reads left to right. But I won't tell him. Do you even know what that what they're saying? Yeah, I love you. Oh, you love 사랑해. Me. Now just hold on. That does that mean I love you too? Yeah. See, I'm a fast learner. Uh-huh. I can't believe you did all this, especially after the other night. You, you're planning this amazing things, and I'm making you sad. And it's all right, I'm so baby. Sorry. And I know you know my relationship, like with my ex, whatever. But like, it's just not my ex. You know, my father. You know, he abused me. What did he? What would he do? I mean, like, he would be abusive every day, and one day he would just do random things, like he would come home with a bicycle. And then he would just like, oh, we're gonna go ride a bicycle. I'm like, really? I'm like happy. As soon as we went outside, he hurt himself a little bit. Yeah. And then he started cursing me out and just started beating the on me. Like, that's, baby, that's been my life. So I can't really trust nobody, even when they're being nice. It was a cycle of abuse by my father that led me and my mom into this false sense of security. And just like that, he would turn on us. It was a way of manipulating us, and now I can't trust no one. It makes me really sad that my past is always like, it stops me from being happy. What are you doing? I love you. I totally understand that you've been hurt, but I'm here. I just want you to embrace love. It's okay, babe. You don't need to move in with me. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. I really love you, like, 100%. My heart is yours. And you know what? We let's move in together. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. I can't believe I just said yes. Something just came over me. But I know I could trust him, and together we're gonna move forward on this crazy adventure we're on. Here's to us moving in. I love you, young bae. I love you too. Oh, young bae in this bitch. You all right? No. I can't get in touch with my mom. It's been like a week now. Yeah, go this long without speaking? We usually talk to each other every day. She's in Korea, so like, I'm very worried. Last time I talked to her, she told me that my father found her on social media, and he threatened her. I'm thinking all this crazy in my head, like, is she kidnapped? What? My father's crazy. You think he would hurt her? Of course, that's why we all ran away from my father. Why you think I'm here? 
the reason why I came to New York with only $80 in my pocket was to escape from my father. And my mother, she insisted staying in Korea and she was hiding out from my father. And I thought she was all good till my father tracked her down. And I haven't heard from her ever since. I'm freaking out. She's not picking up my calls. Oh. Nothing, no response. You don't have no other way to contact her? No. And I'm like thinking if I should like go to Korea, but it's mad expensive. Since I moved to America, besides paying my own bill, I've been sending my mom money more than 10 years now. So it's not like I have this cash stack on the side. I could just take off and leave whenever I want. Why don't we figure out a way to try and help you? Try to get some money up for you to send you out there at least. We can make some yeah, happen. We can help you out. I got two working hands, bitch, and a whole bunch of tattoo supplies. We got you, baby. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah, you're not alone, bitch. Nah. Like, this means the world to me. I feel warm inside, like. Aww. I just came down to the shop today wanting to tell these guys what's going on in my life. I didn't expect them to want to help me. And it makes me feel a little better that I have this family surrounding me. turn this into a full-blown tattoo-a-thon to help raise money for Bay to get to Korea. Everybody quiet! <laughs> all right, all right, hey, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out to support us for Bay's tattoo-a-thon. Yeah. We are trying to send this today to Korea, so we need everybody to come support, get tattoos, get drinks, and just turn up and have fun. Yeah. so motivated right now. I'm gonna bang out as many tattoos as I can. I'm so touched that everybody put this tattoo all down together just so I can make sure my mom is okay. Money, money, money. These guys have proven to me that they're my family. You know, I've never really had family like that. So this means a lot to me. Y'all getting tattoos too? Are we gonna get tattoos tonight? Well, listen here, mother. Excuse me. So, listen. This is what I have here today. Her name is Teddy. She's my new manager in training, and she's ready to take this shop to the next level. Caesar, a pleasure to meet you. I have a lot of experience in the industry. I'm a licensed tattoo artist. I'm a licensed body piercer. Yeah. I'm ready to make a lot of money with you, and I can't wait to make this exactly what it already is times 10. Mm. That's my girl, Nelly. Yeah. My strategy to bring Tatiana into the fold is slowly working. What's the biggest shop you ran? I've ran four locations at once. We gonna put her ass to work. Right now. If this manager in training is half as good as she says she is, maybe, just maybe, I get a break from Sky complaining ass about New York. Give her a round of Drunk people in costumes already love her. Where you wanna get? You wanna get a little rose? Yeah. And soon, 113 will be under her reign and I will be back in Atlanta like, what? Go ahead, Tati. Go ahead. Come on, let's get you a little rose. Where my artist at? We over here. Let me see. I wanna get you a lady. Mama, you tattooing? She needs a little rose right here. So let's get her set up. Let's get this tattoo popping. Wait, who are you? I'm Tatiana, very nice to meet you. I'm just here to make a lot of money for all of us. I'm confused. confused? I am very confused. What are we confused about? You work here? Sky brought me in. I'm the new manager in training. Here? Yes. Um, manager in training, what the 
is that? How many of you to step back barking out orders and shit? Like, your ass is worse than Mel. We're here to make money for a tattoo a song, right? Uh -huh. So you available to tattoo? Yeah, I've been tattooed. All right, so let's go. Let's get this money. You ready to set up? Are you kidding me? Who the f is this bitch? I've been bossing my ass all f night. Sit the f back. Well, you don't need to tell I'm me. A, I'm going to bring somebody to your station right now. You ready to set up? No, so I already have the next Korea. customer. All right, so you ready to set up? Because you don't want to get the money right now. What the f are you talking you about? You want to get the money right now? What the f are you talking about? I'm talking about money. I'll I'm be about to go money. get my own So client. are you ready I'm to my set own up? Time. That's your attitude as a professional <laughs> tattoo artist? You ain't got no <laughs> wait time? You want to do it on your own time, right? Right, baby? <laughs> Somebody else to get this money. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah. oh, what the f is wrong with you? Stupid bitch. I've been busting my ass all night, and this bitch just comes in here with her bull. Who the f is you? Get the f out of my face. What is happening? Who the f Why are you going to work? You want to make money? You a dumb bitch. Take a deep breath and take your ass to the front. And Tati, come with me to the back. Sometimes new artists come in and I mean, come on, Bay was very mouthy. I came here to save y'all all. OK, all is saving. You're not saving anything. Alex, very disrespectful. This is Alex. He is our new artist. Vagina Slayer. Vagina Slayer? Like That's your name? Yeah. And Tiffany? I mean. I'm gonna beat you up. That's yeah, hard to my yeah, kids. Yeah. All right. Y'all need to stop that. Oh, Tati needs to cool her little ass down. What happened? I was just trying to help Shorty out and make her some money. And so maybe, do you think it was a miscommunication and you guys are... I hope it was a miscommunication. Listen, I want you to apologize and squash this sh I'll talk to her. I'll okay. talk to her for you. Let's go. Give me your hand. We got this. The good thing about Tati is that she's fierce. And the bad thing about Tati is that she's too fierce. But she has agreed to apologize. There goes my favorite Korean in the entire world. I'm stressed. I know you are. Mama, let's go talk. Hmm? Let's go talk about let's this. Let's go talk. Oh my god, please. I just need these two bitches to make up so Caesar can see that this bitch Tati needs to be managing the shop. And I can get back to Atlanta. Listen, Mama, I just want you to understand is that I'm here for all of y'all. And my role here is to just get organized, be professional. I'm here to make you money, like, you know, okay, so... baby, can I tell you something? Absolutely. This tattoo I thought is to raise money to send me to Korea, because my mom might have been kidnapped by my abusive father, OK? And I'm very stressed. And for you to just come to us, I don't know you. No, for sure. And for you I to just that. come to us, you ready to make money? No, no, that's not going to work. So please, if you could just, you know, tone it down a little bit and, you know, talk to us friendly. I appreciate you telling me that. I'm really sorry. I didn't know what the situation was. Let's not just, just let okay. that happen ever again. Like, ever I, I'm again. I'm with that. This bitch is so lucky that I got mad other to worry about. Bitch, I'll see you later. Oh my God, are you guys in one piece? We talked. As long as these two bitches can agree to be in the same room without whooping each other ass, then I'm happy. So let's get back to that tattoo-a-thon and make this money for Bay's trip. <laughs> The closer I get to Korea, my head is spinning. I haven't been back in 10 years, and I'm here for one reason, to find my mom. I wish I was going for a happier reason. Please fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Damn, where the hell are they parked? In North Korea? A bitch is afraid of the nuclear they got going on out here. The Yeah, hey, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> So you contacted the police, right? I called Korean 911, uh -huh. and like, they think I'm playing. And I'm calling from another country too, so they don't take me soon. What? You ain't got no aunts, she ain't got no sisters, what's up? 
Babe, have you talked to your family? I tried, but nobody's been helpful because my mom is from a wealthy family and they disowned her when she married a poor guy like my father. You had a black sheep. Yes. So family is very important in Korean tradition, but for some reason, my grandparents just couldn't forgive my mother for marrying my father. I feel you, I like you a little more too, because hearing your story and really identifying with it, I want to cry. Well, you don't cry. Because I understand what you go going through. I identify with that a whole lot. They and our stories aren't completely the same, but I can relate to her with her mother being missing because I've been dealing with that since I was a youth and I still deal with that from time to time now. Therefore, like, I'm happy that I'm able to be there for her in this time of need. Thank you, all of y'all, for coming to support me. This means a lot to me. I never know. I never had a family like that. Welcome to a black family. We're a little dysfunctional, but, you know, we get the job done. I feel so thankful to have you guys in my life. Oh. I feel nauseous. I feel like, sick. Yeah, you're gonna find out. I've been praying a lot. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm glad that we came out here, all of us, as a family. I know if I was missing my mom's, I'd like somebody to help me out. Thank you. It's surreal to me that I'm back in Korea. There's so much things that I want to show everyone. But most importantly, we're here for my mother. So for now, we're headed to my mom's apartment. We are here, guys. Let's go. Babe, you ready? Yes. I'm hoping for the best that this is some crazy misunderstanding, and she's just there. Oma! 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 Wait, wait, I got the code. Oma! Oma! She's not here. Look, she's not here. Oh. Oma! It don't seem normal at all. It don't seem like no one's been in here. It's wild cold in here. Oh my god, I feel sick. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? <laughs> you okay? Oh my god. You were just throwing up? Yes. Oh god, this mom? is bad. Where's my mom? You know, she always makes a bed. Look at this like. Maybe she just left out in a rush. But is that her phone? She's gonna love her phone. Oh That's her. my god, this is her phone. Oh my god. What the like, who leaves home without their phone? We need to start tearing this place down from top to bottom to make sure that she's okay. Yo, babe, go through your mom's phone and see if there's anything useful. Everyone else, start searching for clues. Look around for a schedule or something. See if she got, like, a notepad. My mom's phone is locked, and I don't know the password. What does this mean? This is her calendar that was just on her um, nightstand. No, like nothing, nothing. Does this mean anything? Did she write it? Yeah. You this is a prayer. Any clues in that She's just saying she thank God for me, I guess. <laughs> that she didn't do much for me, and, but... Crazy. Like, it seems like Bae's mom wrote this because she knew something bad was about to happen to her. I'm starting to get a real bad feeling. I'm so worried about my mother, and I have to find her. <laughs> oh, God. my God, oh, for real. Babe, what the f Are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah, come on. Let's do this, y'all. So we're at the place where me, my mom, and my sister will hide out when we're running away from my father. It's basically an abandoned area of stupid containers. I know it's a long shot, but I don't know if my mom may be there. This is some real right here. This is some real right here. 
this is considered a shipping container? Yeah. Oh my God. Lord knows I lived in some up places in my day, but whoa, like this is some up shanty right now. Ma! Oh, ma! Babe, what the Is that oh paintings on the God. windows? Oh, She's definitely not in here. She's definitely not. Oh, trash. Bad. I thought the projects was bad. <laughs> Yo, horrible. People leaving it? Where was the heat? Where did you put your food? Where did you lay your head? Like, this feels like a movie. And Bay, this is a survival. Bay, I'm sad you used to live like this. This is crazy as How old were you when you lived here? 13, I was 13, guys. How long you lived here? For like two years. You all right, Bay? What, you bring that bad memories or something? Yes. This makes me sad. We will run away from my father and, and be here. Or, like, me and my sister and my mom, we'll be, we was happy to be here without my father. Because at least we don't have to worry about getting beat up. At least we didn't have to worry about dumb that he made us go through. You know, that feeling that you go home and you don't have to worry? <laughs> In relief, till I see him again. <laughs> but he will, like, eventually find us and he will, like, the abuse will get worse. Now that my mom's missing, I'm really worried. Damn, babe. Damn. But I have to find my mom. And we gonna find her, right, guys? Yeah, you see we ain't gave up on your ass now. We had shipping containers in the middle. We gonna find her. Yeah, don't worry. Just calm down. Yeah, calm let's down. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the house and just think about this. Yeah. Okay. All right. But we, we gonna regroup and we gonna fix this, okay? This looks like a test right here. They're all pregnant. Test. Donna doesn't think she's pregnant, but I damn sure she is. If I was you, Donna, I would want to know. Yeah, yeah, me and her. Me and her, yeah. Stop! Yeah, this, this is for Donna. Remember that. Hot yeah. Nina. Donna, get ready to find out if you have a little one. Which one you want? And I'm not taking that test. You scared? You backing right. out now? My already told you. I'm not pregnant. I don't care how you look, it's saying something totally different. You are pregnant. Because you got this glow, you look mad pretty. Even yeah, after you long. threw up. Okay. Thought I'd take one. No. What if I take one too? You take one, I take one, you know what I'm saying? Then you're not doing it alone. You know I love you. I know it's silly, but if Donna's scared to take one by herself, I will do it with her. What's a little pee between friends? You gonna take one too? Of course! Come on! <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Give me that damn test already. Teddy, get the out. Why I take right. one? Get out! You already. Why I gotta get out? The only reason I'm agreeing to do this is because me and Mo have been having a few moments of like extreme passion, and maybe we haven't been as careful as we think. Anna, what if you really pregnant? No, first of all, I'm not ready to be no mom. You could cook. You're very caring, loving. You're gonna be the best mom ever. Shut the. Babe, I'm not pregnant. Stop saying I am. Yo, what's going on? Babe, it's your turn yet? Shut up! I say, yo. What you want? I'm waiting for you to pee. Yeah, she about to go right Girl, now. Go. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Teddy, get out. Teddy, stop. Say, Donna, you're pregnant. Donna is... No, Teddy! Come on, look at the box. You got one line? One line on the right. 
Oh, you're not, not pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> uh, told your yeah. ass, bitch. Yes, sir. See, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But what do this mean, though? There's two lines. There's two lines? That's my stick? This is your stick. What? Stop letting me. This is your f No. There's definitely two lines on this stick. There's oh, no way. Um, babe. Hmm? You're pregnant. my mom in her apartment today. I can't wait to hug her and make sure she's okay. I haven't seen my mom face to face in 10 years, and I'm so excited to see her again. Mama. It's so good to be in my mom's arm. This moment is erasing all the pain and fear that I've been through in the past few weeks. My mom is okay. <laughs> Ever since I left Korea, I made priority to take care of my mom. And I rented this apartment so she can have a safe place to live. It makes me so happy that my mom could live here. After the hell of living the way we did, hiding out in a shipping container, I just wanted to give my mom the life she deserves. I'm 우리 영롱이가 옛날에 엄마한테 편지 써준 거 있지? 그게 내가 살아가는 힘이야. 너 모르지? 이거 편지 써준 거 생각나? 여기 영롱이가 이렇게 편지를 써줘가지고. Couple of years after I left Korea, I sent her this letter. I wanted her to understand that I understand what she went through. That it was hard for her as a single woman who has an abusive husband to take care of us and just be okay. For years, I held on to this guilt for leaving my mother alone in Korea. And I'm held on to the pain from my father and how he tore our family apart. <sighs> but I know I need to let go. I need to move on. The past can't hurt us anymore. We can only move forward from here.
어, 여기 너무 좋아. <웃음> 그리고 미국 가면 말이 안 통해가지고. 그래도 우리 영롱이가 뭐 결혼해서 애기도 낳고 그랬다. 그러면 이제 또 가야지. 나 결혼해서 애기 낳으면 올 거야? 어, 애기 봐주러 가야지. 애기 봐주러 올 거야? 어. <웃음> oh my god, with all this emotion of just finding my mom and seeing her, I almost forgot that I'm pregnant. But I don't feel like this is a good time to tell her anyways. I will just have another day with her to figure it out. 엄마, 응. 이제 울지 마. 맨날 이제 웃을 일만 있을 거야. 응. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.